Donovan Mitchell put the Cavaliers on his back and took him to the second round of the playoffs. Sammy, I got two stats for you on the Cleveland Cavaliers and Donovan Mitchell. One real, one fake. You decide. You. You decide which one's real, which one's fake. Stat number one. This is the first time the Cavaliers have made it farther than LeBron James since he's been drafted. Stat number two. Donovan Mitchell has the most points in a game six or seven combined since 2001, which is real, which is fake. Welcome to the Sports on Tap Brothers podcast. And I'm George. And with me, always, my little brother, Sammy. Now, let's tap in and get this podcast rolling. Hey. I'm just going to go with the first one right away because there's no way if I can determine the statistics that you did, but I'm going to just do the math in my head. I don't think they've been in the second round other than other than with LeBron since he's been drafted. So I'm going to go with the that first one. Yeah, this is the first time yeah. the <laughs> Cleveland Cavaliers have gone farther than LeBron James since he was drafted. Uh, the second one, Donovan Mitchell actually has the second most points in game six or seven combined since 2001. And that was Allen Iverson. Did it in 2000. Yeah, I mean... He's been ridiculous. Uh, I I thought that was there was that's how I felt. I was like, there's this probably close to true, but it's like one of those that are like a trick question. Like it's close to true, but I I felt that first one because I did see a tweet yesterday too that was like like somebody pretty much was like so fucking weird. The Cavs are in the second round and LeBron's not even in the playoffs anymore. And then it, that made me also think like, huh, <laughs> when does that happen? Never. So, yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Well, that's all on the back of Donovan Mitchell, Sammy. And Sammy, I got a quiz for you on Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell is now ninth all-time in points per game in playoff history. Can you name, or how many can you name in the top ten? He is ninth. Ninth all-time points per game in the playoffs. Okay, well, we're going to do Donovan Mitchell as one of them. Yep. I gave you that. Yeah, I was just saying, yeah. He's in the- <laughs> I'll put it on the list. I got to give put one him on the ten. list. Yeah. See how many out of a 10 you can get. So we started with Donovan Mitchell. We're going to go with yeah. Michael Jordan. Number one is Michael Jordan. Okay. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant is not on the list. That's weird. Okay. Um, Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson is fourth on the list. Okay. LeBron James. LeBron James is seventh on the list. Okay. So you got four... Uh-huh. Yeah, I have them counting on my fingers. Okay. Uh, this is weird. Um, Shaq? Shaq is not on the list. Okay, what about is it? What about like a Jokic? Jokic is number a, 10. Really? Jesus. Yeah. But, so Jamal Murray's not there, obviously. No. Right? Because um, Jokic is 10th. That's surprising. Um, let's see. Well, who am I? I, I know there's somebody yelling into a microphone right now, like probably at home, like, say it. Curry. Curry is not. Durant? Durant is on the list at number five. That's impressive. So that's six of them. Yep. Um, I'm missing some obvious ones, aren't I? No, no. These are, I mean, there's some obvious, some not. I think the rest are, some are hard, yeah. Okay, there's, I have four left. Can you give me any hints on like uh, one of them, like old three player? Of, three of them are still in the NBA today. One okay. is an old player. Old. I want to start with the old players. All right. Um, it's not Magic or no. like Kareem. No. Bill Russell. Nah. <laughs> Wilt. Wilt. No. What, what the fuck? What, His what skin was Wilt complexion doing in the is white. What was he doing? It's Larry Bird then. But like, what was? No. <laughs> what white? White. First of all, I want to know what Wilt was fucking doing in the in the playoffs. Dude was averaging like 70 points in the playoffs. Couldn't even average over, what, 30? Exactly. It's Jerry West, by the way. I'm going to give it to you now. Cause we're That's the out of same time. one that you couldn't get on a mic I know. last time. The same white guy. The, the, the logo. Okay, so three that currently are playing. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna self-time. I give myself 30 seconds for this Give one. yourself 30 seconds. Got it. We're going to... Three guys are currently playing. In the NBA. James Harden? Nope. I already had, like, Luca? Luca's number two. Okay. Whew. I have two more. I really want to get, like, it's not Damien Lillard? No. 
10 seconds. Are they in the playoffs? One is still in the playoffs. One was in the playoffs. Jalen Brunson. No. Fuck. All right. Time is <laughs> uh, up, man. All right. Number three on the list is Anthony Edwards at 29.8 points per game in the playoffs. Number eight on the list is Devin Booker with a 28 points per game average in the playoffs. First of all, should have guessed those two. Especially Booker, because, like, literally I'm sitting in Phoenix right now, and I'm a... He's one of those Funko Pops that bug me, but I'm a big Devin Booker fan, and a, I'm a big Devin Booker defender, because a lot of people try to act like he's not, like, the guy. I think he's better than Jason Tatum. Fun fact. Let's see what the comments think about that one. All right. Do we, I'm just going to go through that top 10 real quick and then give you my opinion for the show. But that top 10 is Michael Jordan, Luka Doncic, Anthony Edwards, Allen Iverson, Kevin Durant, Jerry West, LeBron James, Devin Booker, Donovan Mitchell, Nikola Jokic. Top 10. I'm really just surprised about the Jokic one. But yeah, just right at 10. All right, Sammy. Here's my opinion on Donovan Mitchell. I think this is going to be a little bit, a little bit controversial to some people. But despite Donovan Mitchell being an elite scorer, I think he's just naturally more a number two on a championship team than a number one on a championship team. I don't – oh, did my thing just black out? Uh, I don't think (laughs) – sorry. That was weird. My screen blacked out. I don't think – that's a hard one to – to say because right now we're in a weird evolution of like the shooting guard coming back to being like the number one of a team. You see Devin Booker is a number one of a team. Anthony Edwards is a number one of a team. Jason Tatum. I know he's like a small forward, but it's a kid. I'm talking about shooting guard as in like that type of player. That's the, the guard that scores a lot. Uh, um, right. Jamal Murray is a number two, but he's one of the, like the more dominant ones in the playoffs right now as well. Shea Gildas Alexander is like a shooting point guard. So I just, I, I agree for the most part, but I, I feel like the word number one, number two is not fair these days because there's probably awesome. only like one or two number ones in the entire NBA. Who's the number one in the NBA? Jokic? I'm going to say here are, guys, I, here, here are guys I think that are number ones that can win championships or, or in the past were able to win championships in the NBA. I think Luka Doncic, Anthony Edwards, Nikola Jokic, Jason Tatum, um, Steph Curry in the past, LeBron James in the past, Kevin Durant in the past, Wembenyama in the future. Devin Booker. Uh, Devin Booker no more number one point five. That's I don't just think... not true. That he has he has more. There's more. There's more proof. He was the number one that took a team to the finals. Yeah, but Luka's they didn't win. Oh, oh, sorry, Jason I forgot. Tatum. I forgot. I forgot about Giannis is also on that list. This is all. This is all subject. This is all subjective. This is, these aren't facts, by the way. I know. I'm so, just saying. <laughs> if Jason Tatum's on that list, so should Booker. I mean, they they both went to finals and lost as number. Uh, I know, but I actually think the Celtics will actually win one with him as the number one. But hopefully, I'm wrong. I live in Phoenix. So I want to see Booker win a championship as a number one. My thing is, it depends what your definition of number one is again. I That's think Devin also Booker's, very fair. I think Devin Booker's a number one because I think this NBA right now, if you have a guy as good as Devin Booker, you can win an NBA championship. Same goes for somebody like Donovan Mitchell. Now, the reason number one's, the the, the definition of it's weird is because it really fucking depends who's, who else is on your team. So, <laughs> like, Anthony Edwards right now, would he be a number one at 20? whatever he is, 22, 23 years old, if he didn't have Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert, if he was on the, the Hornets, probably not, right? Probably like, not. But yeah. I mean, God. but also he's elevated those guys, right? I mean, the Timberwolves, like Carl Anthony Towns has been on the Timberwolves for many years and they can't be, get elevated. He elevated those guys. Now, Rudy Gobert, I mean, wherever he's been, is they've been a playoff team, so. I mean, he, Donovan Mitchell also elevated the Cavs. Oh, absolutely. Second no, round. no, Totally. So that's where I'm saying, like, once again, it all depends your, on your situation. Now, I, I really don't see Donovan Mitchell being, like, an NBA Finals MVP, right? That's, yeah, yeah. Um, I neither but do. there's there's about 10 guys you listed there that probably might never would be a Finals MVP either. Like, you never yeah. know. Jason Tatum might never do it, neither might Luca. It's so much harder than it sounds, right? Because, like, Charles Barkley back in the day, Steve Nash, Carl uh, Malone, they're number ones, but... Shit, sometimes you just can't win a championship. Yeah, no, totally. No, no, totally. And that's what I say. It's all subjective here. Sammy, what's your opinion? Well, does it have to be on the Cavs? 
No, it can be on Kaz, Donovan Mitchell, on um, global warming. On... Well, I gave you like because I, I promise I gave you all my thoughts on Donovan Mitchell there, but well, yeah, that, that made it hard. I just gave him a whole spiel about Donovan Mitchell, but I will say he is one of those players that goes from, and I think we're starting to get back to the one side of it. He goes from extremely overrated to underrated many times in his career. I, I like that. That's going to be your opinion. Yeah, like I think he, that's where he's he he might now because of this run that he's had on the playoffs, the way he plays, um, especially the way they've been playing at home. I mean, like, he had fifty on the road, I think, too. But um, so the Cavs won all four games at home. He, you know, he. Uh, the reason we're having this conversation is he a number one, right? Is because he goes through these type of playoff runs. Right. It varies, like it's very reminiscent of like the young Damian Lillard, right? Another guy who was kind of these a very kind of a good example of probably never right. win. Never but win right is another one. That, but right on that cusp. That's like, what, yeah. that's like, I feel like when you have these conversations, by the way, people are going to take them as disrespect. Like, oh, you don't disrespect Donovan Mitchell like that. Like when you start talking about guys, can they be the number one? Or I don't think they can be the number one, but they're so close to being the number one. You're saying they're a top that means 10. you're fucking play. sick. Yeah, you're <laughs> sick, dude. So like, this is no disrespect at all. But I'm just saying like, if you went to the Lakers and was playing with LeBron and Anthony Davis is a big three. Yeah, they can win the championship. Or, for example, if the Suns got Donovan Mitchell as their number three rather than Bradley Beal, no disrespect they'd, to they'd Bradley be, Beal, like, they'd be in the playoffs still. Yeah, and it might be NBA champions. Yeah, so like, there's like there's a huge gap between somebody like Bradley Beal and Donovan Mitchell, in my humble opinion. Me too. But there's not a huge gap between... and I'm, There's a gap, but there's not a huge gap between Donovan Mitchell and getting to the Devin Booker and the Jason Tatum. There's a gap. Exactly. That's how I feel. it's not like, it's not ginormous. He might outperform him a couple games here and there. My thing is, he gets very underrated and overrated probably multiple times like Damian Lillard did in the past. I find that to be a very good example is Damian Lillard, after all these years of struggling to get, get to the, you know, be the number one to get somewhere, he's had to settle and go to Milwaukee. Now, that didn't work out this year, but Giannis was hurt. But, I have a feeling that one day Donovan Mitchell, if he's ever going to have a chance and it's going to have to be in the next three or four years, is probably going to have to do an earlier version of the Damian Lillard move and go find yourself, go be the number two to Paolo Banchero, go be the number two to, to whatever, to Giannis. You know what I mean? And he'll probably have a very good chance of winning an NBA championship. Fair enough, bro. All right. Well, this is the hoops on tap, part of the sports on tap network. My name is George. My little brother is with me, Sammy. And if you enjoyed this, all our descript, all our links, like my personal channel, my brother's personal channel, and our football channel are all in the description here on YouTube. And if you're listening to the audio version, we do have a YouTube channel here. You just go to youtube.com at hoops on tap. You'll see everything there. So thank you for watching. Sammy, you know what we like to say? Well, we like to say one thing other than thanks for stopping by is also... For those Cavs fans, I am rooting like heck for you guys to beat the Boston Celtics. Same here. I hate the Celtics. So go Cavs. And thanks for stopping by.